Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Pick your team number eight. A lot of awesome stuff in here. Second half of the case. Remember I marked all those number eight so we know they're from the same case. Big thanks to uh, this group. Thanks to the people who bought their team straight up. Not too many of you, but I appreciate it. We might have been able to do this entire case. There's Matthew with Last Bought Mojo Cardinals. Might have been able to do this entire case random number block style. Might have to consider that next time we get some museum collection going. All right, there are the results of the random number block right there. So it's a serial number break for that big group of teams right over here. And we did that randomizer in a separate video. Did I upload that video? I did. So if you wanna see the randomizer for that, we'll do that. We'll keep this to my left. I'm sure that'll be a big stack right there. At the end of the break, we'll randomize all these names here. And, uh, and the name on top will get all the non-numbered base cards for that big group of teams too. That'll be a big stack of cards, I would imagine. All right, thanks everyone. We've got a little Brewers at Cardinals on in the background, Albert Pujols struck out. But we'll be looking forward to his next at bat, seeing if he can maybe uh, maybe make some uh, make some magic happen. What's he at now? Six nine seven. Aaron Judge hit two homers yesterday, Are the, uh, and I think that game is in progress. And they're up three nothing. Aaron Judge one for two, but no, no home run. Feels like a like a book. It is a book. Good luck, everybody. Book, book, book. There's an O'Neill Cruz rookie card. Eloy Jimenez to 150. So the Eloy Jimenez, uh, Joe Christian, one of the few people buying their team straight up. Thank you. Pirates. Pirates are a number block team, so this is part of the of the non-numbered base card group. So one person on that number block list that's to my left will uh, will get that. We'll just leave these here for now. Are the Cardinals one of the most oldest teams, not knowing like all these players are literally like played for so long together? Yeah, Cardinals been around. I think they're one of the more original like MLB teams. They must no, have been like around. The players that are on the team right now, like, like oh. age average. Oh, age like, average? I feel like age average, right? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know, know actually. This guy's been playing for a long time. Younger, right, and then Pools is on that team. But they got some youngsters though too because they got like Dylan Carlson and Newt Barr and stuff like that. We've got a Jose Abreu, two-color, dual relic, and autograph. Joe Christian, oh, I just put that picking up the White Sox straight up. Yeah, what is the? Where does the? Where do the Cardinals sit, ladies and gentlemen, on on average age? One thirty-three out of one ninety-nine. That's what Jason was wondering. Now I'm curious too. Where are they at at average age? All right. Behind Otani is Austin Hayes, 35 out of 35. Two color patch for the Orioles. And that's that goes to Orioles Baltimore 5. That's going to be for Travis with number 5. 
Behind the sketch reproduction is Josh Hader. Quad Relic, four out of 99 for the Brewers. Milwaukee's a number block team. Milwaukee four is for the X-Line. So uh, they're kind of in the middle, Oliver saying. Very young if you take out Yachty, Albert, and Wayno. All right, so the Atelier autograph book card. Good luck, everybody. Is going to be Cool Whit Merrifield. Man, these cards look really cool. I like the big stadium look there. The Golden Godograph is sharp. Whit Merrifield looks like a giant standing on the edge of the stadium. Four out of 25. Royals are a number block team. Royals four for the X line. I don't have a, a slider box for this, but we'll find one when, when we're done with the break. All right. Next up. Matt says they're the 10th youngest. Oliver saying 21st. 21st oldest, 21st youngest, depending on how you're reading those numbers. Their average age is 28.42 years. Yeah, Gila, this is a good looking book. I love those Atelier autographs. All right, next up. Ooh, good question. Who is the oldest team? Who is the oldest team in baseball? I say it's... No, no yeah, not, not the Cubs. Can you give us the age, average age, of the oldest team? Is Reese Hoskins to 99? So the uh, Yankees, are the Yankees the oldest team? There's Reese Hoskins, 17 out of 99. And your hits. There's Buster Posey, 32 out of 99. Yankees are second. That was close. Reds are 14. Yeah, Reds have a Reds are fielding a pretty young team. There's Giants, Chris Walker with the Giants straight up. Mets are the oldest team. I was I was in the vicinity. There's Matt Olson. Dual relic and autograph. Fifty six out of one ninety nine. Dodgers have to be kind of in the middle, middle ish. Uh, oh, sorry, Matt Olson Braves is a number block team, and that goes to Atlanta six, and that will be for Gary in the number six. And we got Amaris, uh, Aramis Ramirez. That is eighty six out of two ninety nine. Chicago Cubs six is for Gary. 
And there's Ken Griffey Jr., 20 out of 25. That's a cool patch. Seattle. Seattle's a number block team, so I'm going to go to Seattle 0. And that is for the X line, number 0. Fifth oldest. Next box. Are the oldest teams the best teams? I don't have the list in front of me, but you guys do. Because you would guess that the younger teams are probably the more inexperienced, i.e. not good teams. I get, I get, I'll bet the Braves are pretty young, but pretty good. They might be one of those, the Braves might be one of those young teams that are really good. Blue Jays too, maybe? Rays, perhaps? Oldest team spend the most. That makes sense. They're getting, uh, oh, Braves right behind the Dodgers in six, interesting. So I guess I suppose that does make sense. You know, they're getting, they're locking in more guys in the in the primes of their careers, late twenties. All right, behind Ricky Henderson, we got Boggsy Wade Boggs Rays edition. Triple Relic and Autograph. Yeah, every one time I'll sneak in a Rays edition of this guy. 223 out of 275, so that'll go to Rays 3. Tampa Bay 3 is the X line. There's Aaron Judge, 54 out of 75. Is that his home run range? Could he end with 75? That would be a, that would be ridiculous if he ended up with 75. Yeah, Teddy's a big Boggs guy. Always Sunny in Philadelphia has a great Boggs episode too. Uh, Yankees, our number block team. So Yankees four is going to be for the X line. <laughs> Rex, we're talking about oldest average age on the team, not the oldest franchise. It's Pete Alonzo, 63 out of 150. And 23 out of 50, Mike Schmidt. Uh, Phillies. Phillies are a number block team, so that goes to Philadelphia 3. That'll be for the X line. And there's John Smoltz, 28 out of 50. Smoltzy for the Braves. That's 28 out of 50. Atlanta 8 is for Brian Crouch. There you go. Halfway through this half case break. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's been getting a lot of hits. He has 40% of the number block. We'll hear his, hand, we'll hear his name a lot.
Yeah, I actually did the same thing too, Rex. Because uh, it was actually, it was actually uh, Jason who was like, hey, are the Cardinals the, uh, the oldest team? And I thought he meant franchise, like the history of their franchise. And he's like, no, 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 like their average age on their team. All right. Next box. Jeremy's saying Suzuki has autos in Immaculate. Is that Seiya Suzuki or Ichiro Suzuki? Or both. Is Aaron Judge. 117 out of 150. And talk about talk about betting on your own. Say it, Suzuki. Talk about betting on yourself. All right, behind the uh, Luis Robert sketch reproduction is Cody Bellinger, 7 out of 10. Meaningful material. Dodgers, 7. That's going to be for Brian Crouch. Got a Quadra, another Josh Hader, 52 out of 99. Milwaukee, two, will be for the excellent. Another quad relic, Francisco Lindor, five out of 75. Metropolitans. So Mets, five, is going to be for Travis. And behind the buzz is an Andrew Jones autograph, 14 out of 50. Braves, Atlanta 4, the X line. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, that should be pretty cool, Diego. Diego's mentioning waiting for those father-son Drew Jones, Andrew Jones dual auto cards to be made. Those will be pretty awesome. Rex is wondering if anybody likes Papa John. Saw a commercial for a new Papa's Bowl. Is all your favorite topic in a bowl with no crust? Interesting. Yeah, if I'm going, ooh, a, a redemption. That doesn't sound very, yeah, it doesn't sound very, if, if, if I do go for a national chain pizza, I generally lean towards Papa John's, but I'm, I'm not intrigued by any of the other items outside of the bowl. Oliver's wife likes the bowl, but it's not a lot for the price. Interesting. So is it just a bowl of melted cheese and like pepperoni and like mushrooms or whatever other toppings like that? And like, I guess, mixed with some sauce, I guess? So, sort of like a protein-style pizza. 
All right, behind Juan Soto is a sketch reproduction. Am I missing a hit out of here? It's Tom Glavin, piece of the relic uh, of his, uh, for his, uh, his Mets gear, that is. It's gonna be for seven. Brian Crouch with Met 7. And back here is Alex Gordon, 12 out of 75. Oh, that's the artist proof. That's what it is. Ha. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, there it is. Bottom left right there. So that's part of that uh, non-numbered group. The redemption. Congratulations, you are due to receive a momentous material jumbo patch autograph copper parallel of See the city right there? P? Pittsburgh? Philadelphia? Philadelphia, Zach Wheeler. Phillies are a number block team, so that goes to Philly zero, the X line. Got randomized number zero. Good luck. Final, yeah, Matthew's like, Matt's like, come on, let's let's see a Cardinal hit in the last box here. All right, yeah, upgrade that potato, Rex. Upgrade that potato to a, to a real phone. Maybe, uh, maybe Christmas gift. Franco rookie card, Cal Raleigh to 150. And Wander Franco will also be part of that non numbered group. I, sh I should shoot a short. Were people in the 1800s using potatoes as phones? Complete with old, maybe some old, old, -timey, uh, old timey language? There's Ian Happ. What's the Haps? Two color, dual relic, an autograph. Cubs are a number block team. And that'll be uh, 332 out of 399. Cubs two, the X line. We got a Shohei Otani quad relic, 31 out of 99.
piece of his lumber in there as well. Angels are a number block team. So, Angels one will be Brian Crouch. All right, two more to go, fingers crossed. Everybody, we got a Red Sox, Big Poppy, David Ortiz. 10 out of 25 for Jonathan Kent. A newly minted Hall of Famer. Saw his plaque at Cooperstown earlier this summer. Or a couple months ago. However you want to put it. Francisco Lindor reveals our final hit, Keston Hiras. 43 out of 75, three pieces of his lumber. He's been working that lumber and a piece of his jersey. Milwaukee Brewers, 43 out of 75. Milwaukee three is gonna be for the X line. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A nice break of museum collection in the books. Now, let's do a randomizer. Let's see who's going to get the non-numbered base cards for a fairly big group of teams right here. Let's go back to the number block list for uh, that group of teams right here. New dice, new list. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a one, four times. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. Yeah, <laughs> X-Line, what a break for you. An X-Line break, right? Names on top, you're gonna get that big stack of non-numbered base cards for that big group of teams right there. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with us, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.